guys, hope you're all doing well. And by this time, you should know that I am a full Ashok Kumar, and I'm in seventh grade. Today, we are going to be talking about the quadratic formula. But what is this quadratic formula? Well, it's a formula we use a lot to solve a quadratic equation. The formula is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And then when we start tinkering around a bit to find the formula, we get x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. All of that over 2a. Now, I know what you're thinking. You might be thinking that this is just too complicated for you to solve, but as you keep practicing, you'll find that you'll use this a lot and it will become easy for you. And did you know that the quadratic formula is one of the five most used formulas and we use it a lot in real life, like calculating room areas, figuring a profit, quadratics and athletics, finding a speed, and so on. Now, we're going to figure out the value of x in a quadratic equation. Here we have the quadratic equation x squared plus 4x minus 21 equals 0 based on this equation here. As you can see, a equals 1, b equals 4, and c equals negative 21 if you're looking at this quadratic equation here. Now, Let's go ahead and solve this. So how do we do it? We use the formula. So what we're going to do is x equals negative 4, because b is, neg b is 4, plus or minus square root of 4 squared minus 4 times 1, as a is 1, times negative 21. As c is negative 21. All of that is all over 2 times 1. As you know, a is 1. Then we get negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16. As 4 squared is 16. Then negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 21 is positive 84. As a negative time sign a negative is a positive. So then you'll get 16 plus 84. All of that over 2. E which equals negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 100. All of that over 2. And then, e then it equals negative 4 plus or minus 10 over 2. As you know, the square root of 100 is 10. And now you have this, but this is not your final answer yet. You now have two cases, the plus and the negative, or the positive and the negative. So then you would have negative four plus 10 over two, and then negative four minus 10 over two. And when you solve these, these will become your values of x. So let's go and do that x equals, let's first solve this one, negative 4 plus 10 equals 6 over 2, which equals 3. So then x would equal 3, and then let's solve for this one. Negative 4 minus 10 will be negative 14 over 2, which then will equal negative 7. And then x will equal 3 and negative 7. And this will be your final round final answer. If you would like, you can go ahead and substitute these two values of x into this total quadratic equation. If you get zero, then you're correct. And that's the basics of the quadratic formula. In the next video, I will talk more about the quadratic equation and solve real world problems. And also, Abraham Savas Orda was a Spanish Jewish mathematician who found this quadratic formula. Thank you all for watching. If you find this video helpful, 
please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video.